Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss logarithm of a number. Now let A, Y and B are three numbers such that A raised to power Y is equal to B, then Y is said to be the logarithm of the number B to the base A. So it is written as log B to the base A is equal to Y. That is, when a is to power y is equal to b, then y, which is the power, is called the log of the number b to the base a. Now let us discuss this with the help of an example. Now we have 10 raised to power x is equal to 100, which implies 10 raised to power x is equal to 10 raised to power 2. Now here, this is the same, so we can equate the parts. So this implies x is equal to 2. Now putting this value in this equation, we have 10 raised to power 2 is equal to 100. Now, in the logarithmic form, we can write it as log 100 to the base 10 is equal to 2. Therefore, log of a number, that is log of 100 to the base 10 is equal to 2. And here, 2 is the power to which 10 is raised to get 100. Now, let us discuss one more example. Here, 2 is to power x is equal to 8. This implies 2 raised to power x is equal to 2 raised to power 3, which implies x is equal to 3. So, in logarithmic form, we can write this equation as x is equal to 3, as 3 is equal to, that is, we are getting the power is equal to 3. That means this power, which is 3, is equal to log 8 to the base 2. Now let us discuss one more example. Here 2 raised to power x is equal to 5. Now in this case, x in the fraction between 2 and 3. Therefore, log 5 to the base 2 is equal to a fraction between 2 and 3. So from all these examples, it is clear that logarithm of any number of a given base is equal to the power to which the base should be raised to get the given number. Now, we know that any number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. So let us take a raised to power 0 is equal to 1. Now this implies in logarithmic form it can be written as log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. And also, we have a raised to power 1 is equal to a. Now, in log with the form, it can be written as log a to the base a is equal to 1. So, these are two very important results which are to be remembered. And from this result, we conclude that the logarithm of 1 to any base is 0. And the second important result is the logarithm of any number to the same base is unity. Now let us discuss few results of logarithms. The first result is 
If A and X be positive real numbers, where A is not equal to 1, then A raised to power log X to the base A is equal to X. Now let us prove it. Let log X to the base A is equal to Z. So in explanation form, this can be written as a raised to power z is equal to x. Now this implies now putting the value of z in this equation it will be a raised to power log x to the base a is equal to x. Hence we have proved this result. Now let us discuss the second result, which is for A is greater than 0 and A not equal to 1, log X to the base A is equal to log Y to the base A. If X is equal to Y and XY greater than 0. Now let us prove it. Now let log x to the base a is equal to p and log y to the base a is equal to q and where x is equal to y and xy are greater than 0 and a is greater than 0 and also a is not equal to 1. Now by definition of logarithm we can write this equation as a raised to power p is equal to x and this equation is a raised to power q is equal to y. But we have x is equal to y as it is given. Therefore, a raised to power p is equal to a raised to power q. Now this is the same, so we can equate the powers. So this implies P is equal to Q. Now putting the values of P and Q, this implies log X to the base A is equal to log Y to the base A. So we have proved this result. Now let us discuss the next result, which is if A is greater than 1 and X is greater than Y, then log x to the base a is greater than log y to the base a. Now let us prove this result. Now x is greater than y so this implies now using this result we can write x is equal to a is to power log x to the base a. So this implies a raised to power log x to the base a is greater than and here we can write y as a raised to power log y to the base a. Now the bases are same so we can compare the parts. So this implies log x to the base a is greater than log y to the base a. That is log x to the base a is an increasing function. Now let us discuss one example. Now as 5 is greater than 3, this implies log 5 to the base 10 is greater than log 3 to the base 10. Now here a is greater than 1, that is a is 10 here which is greater than 1 and x is greater than y. This implies log x to the base a, that is log 5 to the base 10, is greater than log y to the base a, that is log 3 to the base 10. Now let us discuss the next result, which is if 0 is less than a is less than 1, that is a is lying between 0 and 1, 
and x is greater than y then log x to the base a is less than log y to the base a. Now let us prove this result. Now if x is greater than y then this implies a raised to power log x to the base a is greater than a raised to power log y to the base a. Therefore when a is less than 1 then this implies log x to the base a is less than log y to the base a. That is log x to the base a is a decreasing function. Now let us discuss this result with the help of an example. Now here let a is equal to 1 by 2 that is a is lying between 0 and 1 and x is greater than y that is 16 is greater than 8. So we have log 16 to the base 1 by 2 is equal to minus 4 and log 8 to the base 1 by 2 is equal to minus 3 since minus 4 is less than minus 3 therefore log 16 to the base 1 by 2 is less than log 8 to the base 1 by 2. Therefore, if a is lying between 0 and 1 and x is greater than y, then log x to the base a is less than log y to the base a. And now let us discuss logarithmic functions. Now a logarithmic function is just an inverse of exponential function. That is, the graph of the logarithmic function is the mirror image of the graph of the exponential function about the line y is equal to x. And now let us discuss graph of logarithmic function. Now let us draw the graphs of the logarithmic functions. That is, for y is equal to log x to the base 2 and then for y is equal to log x to the base 3 and y is equal to log x to the base 4. First of all, let us draw a graph for y is equal to log x to the base 2. Now this implies in exponential form we can write it as x is equal to 2 raised to power y. Now let us draw a table for the different values of x and y. Now for y is equal to 0 that is putting y is equal to 0 in this equation we get x is equal to 2 raised to power 0 which is 1. So for y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1. Then for y is equal to 1 x is equal to 2. And then for y is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 raised to power 2 which is 4. Now let us plot these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting a graph for the logarithmic function y is equal to log x to the base 2. Now let us draw a graph for y is equal to log x to the base 3. Now y is equal to log x to the base 3 implies x is equal to 3 raised to power y. Now we have drawn the table for the different values of x and y. Now for y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. Then for y is equal to 1, x is equal to 3 raised to power 1 which is 3. And 
therefore y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3 raised to power 2, which is 9. And now let us plot these points on the graph. So we have plotted these three points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph for the logarithmic function y is equal to log x to the base 3. Now let us draw a graph for y is equal to log x to the base 4, which implies x is equal to 4 raised to power y. Now, for y is equal to 0, we get x is equal to 1. Then, for y is equal to 1, we get x is equal to 4. And for y is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 4 raised to power minus 1, which is equal to 1 by 4. And this is equal to 0 0.25. And now let us plot these points on the graph. So we have plotted these three points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of the logarithmic function y is equal to log x to the base 4. Now here you can observe that all these curves that are the graphs of the logarithmic functions are passing through the common point that is 1, 0 that is these graphs are making the x-axis at the point 1, 0. So in this session you have learned about log for the of a number and graph of a logarithmic function. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.